Hello friends, how have you been? Trust you are doing well. We continue our lesson on verb to be. Hello guys, today our lesson is about using the verb to be in sentences. How to use the verb to be in sentences. And you could see be here is usually used for future tenses. The verb to be is usually used for future tenses. So anytime you see be in a sentence, the sentence might be in a future tense. Or the sentence should be in a future tense because it is usually used for future tenses. Okay, here we are going to use the verb to be in a future tense. But because verb to be cannot stand alone to make a sentence, the verb be, be cannot stand alone on it to, to make a complete sentence. So it will need a helping verb to help it to stand on it to. So we introduce a helping verb, will, will. We have different helping verbs. We can use shall and so forth and so forth there are others that can be used to help the verb be but here we limit ourselves with will 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 so will plus be will become will be will be will be you see will plus be becomes will be so we are going to use them in sentence let's try some examples with i Example one, I will be there tomorrow. I will be there tomorrow. I will be there tomorrow. I'll be in town soon. I'll be in town soon. I'll be in town soon. I'll be in school next week. I will be in school next week. I will be in school next week. I repeat again for the last time. I will be there tomorrow. I'll be in town soon. I'll be in school next week. So these are examples with the pronoun I. Examples with pronoun I. We are now going to use you. You. You will be there tomorrow. You will be there tomorrow. You will be there tomorrow. Example two. You'll be there soon. You'll be there soon. You'll be there soon. Example three. You'll be in school next week. You will be in school next week. You will be in school next week. Again, you will be there tomorrow. You will be there tomorrow. You will be in town soon. You will be in town soon. You will be in school next week. You will be in school next week. So these are the examples of you. Now we have he, she. Examples with he, she. He or she will be there tomorrow. So let's say he will be there tomorrow or she will be there tomorrow. He will be there tomorrow. She will be there tomorrow. She will be in town soon. He will be in town soon. He will be in town soon. She will be in town soon. He will be in school next week. He will be in school next week. She will be in school next week. She will be in school next week. So, he will be in town tomorrow. She will be in town tomorrow. Now we move on to we, we, examples with we. The example one, we have, we will be there tomorrow. 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 Example two, we'll be there soon. We will be there soon. We will be there soon. We have example three. We will be in school next week. We will be in school next week. I repeat. 
We'll be there tomorrow. We'll be there tomorrow. We'll be in town soon. We'll be in town soon. We'll be in school next week. We will be in school next week. So these are examples of we now we want to do do. They will be there tomorrow. 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 They will be in town soon. They will be in town soon. They will be in town soon. They will be in school next week. They will be in school next week. Again, they will be there tomorrow. They will be there tomorrow. They will be in town soon. They will be in town soon. They will be in school next week. They will be in school next week. So, you also have examples with them. Dear friends, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Never forget to like, share, and subscribe for more of these. Until then, see you, stay cool, be good guys, bye.